Welcome back to the Youth Academy RTG here on FIFA 23. Today we will be ending the January transfer window. We've got a couple of important games in the Premier League and Carabao Cup. Also looking for the next round of the FA Cup to be drawn as well. Uh, I've been awarded Manager of the Year, apparently, which is phenomenal. We covered that in the uh, last episode. There was something, I can't remember whether it was this save or the Southampton save. It may well have been this save. Uh, where one of the Patreon players was actually up for the Ballon d'Or. Now, uh, unfortunately, I don't believe the the or oh, team of the year announced. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go, team of the year. In the t I might just be in the way here with my camera, but the team of the year has been drawn, and Navarrete and Ben Jack are in there from ourselves, as is Edwards, uh, and up top. Kyle Dodds of Inter Milan spent years at LAFC, finally got a move, gone to Inter Milan and is in the UEFA Team of the Year for 2029. Aiden's got a Player of the Month in the Premier League as well, but uh, unfortunately I can't see the Ballon d'Or winner. But Kyle thought he glanced it, he was in the running for it, but it might not actually have been drawn yet, I'm sure it will have been. Oh, that's annoying. I don't know why Cambridge United are in the news because we're nowhere near them. But I got manager of the year and I, I can't see anything with regards to Ballon d'Or, unfortunately. But Kyle is in team of the year. So GG, sir. Well done. So with regards to transfers, we've got about 70 million available, but really looking to spend anywhere. The only thing that we could do to strengthen with our depth is to recall Ethan Martin from Bayern. You guys were on board with that. It'll cost me 186 grand, but that's fine. So Ethan Martin will return to us and go on to the bench ahead of the current youngster that's on there, Walter. We'll still leave Kai Connick on there because it's Kai. And Patrick Guy is back and available again. So we'll put him back in the starting lineup and Salah will drop to the bench. Martin can actually play at centre mid as well. So he'll be very good in a number of different areas and will offer us uh, fantastic depth moving forward so Bauman I could put on the bench maybe ahead of Kai but oh, go on then I'll put Bauman on the bench ahead of Kai but uh, for the time being I don't think we're going to make any more changes there was a little bit of a call to buy either a world-class goalkeeper or a world-class left mid now Richardson has 11 clean sheets in 21 games and I don't think replacing him is the right thing to do and with regards to the left mid Fleming, he is my second top goal scorer and my second most creative player and has 28 contributions in 33 games. So I am not replacing him, thank you very much. So we're going to crack on with the games. If something makes itself available or we get an injury, etc., then of course we will act on it. But at this moment in time, judging by my personal feelings, your guys' feelings in the comments and... Uh, the live chat feelings on Twitch as well. I don't believe we're going to do anything else other than recall Martin in the remainder of this window. But like we say, if things change with regards to injuries, then we will act and we have the money available to do so. Next round of the FA Cup has just been drawn there. It's Portsmouth. I'm happy enough to sim that. So we'll play West Ham, sim Forest, sim Pompey and play Arsenal. And that will be our deadline day episode. Good? Good. Drop the video a like, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more and hopefully we can have ourselves four wins from four today. West Ham line up then with Etienne Green in goal, a five back with Christensen, Luis El Schuller, Hayes and Tierney. Swell Nevers and a 95 rated Scott Underwood in midfield. 86 Gonzalo Ramos up top will be very, very good as well with Balik Wisher and Sofian Diop either side of him. West Ham not got that many points so far this season, they're only on 23 and we're on... I think more than twice that, actually, at this stage. So, on paper, despite the quality they have in a couple of areas with Ramos and Underwood, it should be the sort of game that we comfortably win. That is unbelievable vision. And Christensen is in here. And Balik Wisher, very nearly, gives West Ham an early 1-0 lead. And that is not necessarily the way we want to start today. Romero, down the line nicely. Fleming needs to have some good footwork here to dodge about the numerous West Ham defenders that are around. He's done that brilliantly. And Oh, go on. Oh my lord. Faris Salihovic. Are you actually sure that you've just done that? The first touch to just pluck it out of the air and to follow that up 
with an overhead kick. Well, we thought a goal that we scored with Gianluca Scamacca in the Southampton save recently was one of my best of all time. That's right up there too. Touch with his left to bring it out of the air. And then before the ball hits the ground, overhead kick, top left-hand corner, top right-hand corner as you look at it from the other side. That is, um, yeah, not bad, that, is it? Really? That's pretty good. We're 1-0 up. Sorry, David Moyes. Giving that straight to me. You're giving it away there. West Ham, they are worried at the minute. Whoa, Leao uh, Silva does well. Or da Silva, Fleming with the effort. And Etienne Green with a stop. Uh, West Ham are in trouble here. I think if this pattern keeps up for the full game, we might have a cricket score on our hands. What a fantastic showing of handling from Etienne Green to pluck that out the air and hold on to it too. Still, it just keeps coming back towards the West Ham goal. I think that was a bit harsh. Definitely won the ball there, Scott. Patrick Guy from range. That was definitely more hope than hit in a hit and hope. But from about 30 plus yards, he's only gone and scored another worldie. Boos ring out around the ground, and I'm not too surprised, to be honest. Patrick Guy back in the starting lineup. And, uh, well, wham. Against his former team, of course. Keeper perhaps put off by the man diving in front of it there. Patrick Guy is a pre-gen of Patreon player Scott Underwood, who's in West Ham's central midfield. And, uh, well, he's just popped up with something much better than anything Scott has ever done against us. He has scored a penalty and gotten a couple of assists from open play over the years at West Ham here, Scott. But nothing ever as good as that from Patrick Guy. That's how you come back and stamp your authority on your former home pitch. That was unbelievable. I still think the Sally Hovich one was better, but... Oh, I thought that was going to nest itself in the top corner too. It's still just 2-0. Oh, Fleming. Delicious. It's amazing. Sally Hovich. Top ends. Yes! 3-0 inside 21 minutes. We said the West Ham weren't having a great season. <laughs> Even if they were having a phenomenal season, they're certainly not enjoying this afternoon. Uh, year is going from bad to worse here quickly. Underwood. It's Gonzalo Ramos. Valet Wisher. Neves. Gonzalo! The quality of finishing on display today is out of this world. We said Gonzalo Ramos is decent. He's just proved it. 3 1 at the London Stadium. And we're not even 25 minutes in yet. This is one of a kind. Liverpool drawing at half-time with Fulham, which means our lead at the top of the table will extend yet further. We are certainly hot favourites here to win back-to-back -back Premier League titles, which is not something we've done in a save for a long time. A long time. There have been a number of saves where we just haven't even won the Premier League by the time we've come to the end of that particular adventure. But to win back-to-back -back Premier Leagues would be insane. I genuinely can't recall if even I've ever done that in a YouTube save, to be completely honest. But this might be the first time. Your guys' memory will be better than mine. Fleming. Into the space. Edwards. Could still look for Salihovic. Oh, please be onside. I don't know as he was. I think he might have been. He was! Faris at it again. That record of Erling Haaland's might end up going by the end of March at this rate. He's flying this season, Sally Hovitz, Scoring more goals this year than I can recall a striker scoring for me in a Premier League season previously. At this rate, he will get more than a goal a game by the time the season's done. In off the post. Well, there's the final whistle. Great way to start the day. Ethan Martin recalled from Bayern and we have an expert bit of squad depth now. And, well, Faris has done it again. Another hat-trick in the Premier League. He needs one in the FA Cup to round out the fan objective. But it's pretty unstoppable, Faris Salihovic, this season. And I'm, we talk about it so regularly, but only because he scores so regularly. That record is going, surely. 16 efforts in that game, four of which went in. Which isn't a great conversion rate. 
Liverpool able to win in the end, unfortunately, despite being drawing nil-nil at half-time. So the gap at the top of the table remains five points, but five is certainly enough for me. I'm very, very happy with a five-point gap at the top of the table. Nacho Salinas would like to play more. And to be fair, I might throw him in for this one if Salahovic is tied, which he's not. Nobody's tied. Francisco's up to 87. Oh, this squad is so bloody good, isn't it? Right? We'll sim Forest, we'll sim Pompey, and then we'll play Arsenal. Still with Alfonso Davies in their left-back role, Nottingham Forest. They've got AJ Knights, the Patreon player at 92, in their cam spot as well. So they've got some quality in there. Eliwahi and uh, Fafana up top are certainly quality too. Dangerous team, Forest. As proven by Alfonso Davies getting... The opening goal in the 10th minute. It's 1-0 to the away side. This, of course, our uh, dubbed home derby. Or hometown derby, because we've based our side, our created club, in the city where I am. So this is a Nottingham derby of sorts. But, unfortunately, at the minute, we're losing it. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a wonderful goal. Alex Fleming adds to his tally. And we're level in the derby. That's 1-1. One, one. Need more, please, though. Liverpool, five points behind. And it's certainly an overturnable gap. Provided all we need to do is draw a couple and Liverpool win a couple. And they're right back with us, aren't they? So you know, we need to make sure that we can get a winner out of this one, please, gents. Well done. Brought it down nicely. Salahovic inside again. It's Lenny Stevens forwards. Farris at it again. Anyone would think that he was an Erling Haaland regen, but he's not. It's Edin Dzeko's regen, which is why we signed him. If it was Haaland's, I'd, like a Haaland pregen, I wouldn't have got him because it was too obvious a signing. But Edin Dzeko's regen, you would never have thought would have been anywhere near as good as Faris Salihovic has been for us. And he might be involved again here, but not quite. Not that we need him to now, but he still scored anyway. 3-1, game over. Sorry, Forrest. Final whistle sounds, another two for Farris, another three for the team, and we needed three this time. Forrest trying to get themselves back into it, but couldn't quite overturn the two-goal deficit. So we'll take three points from that. Portsmouth away in the FA Cup really should be comfortable to get us through to the next round. And then uh, with Arsenal in the Carabao Cup semi-final second leg, away from home, actually. Key to point out as well, that is not going to be straightforward, but... In the cup, we'll play with a rotated side. Might need to tweak it slightly from players being injured and back from injury, etc. But uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why my second squad is called losers because hopefully they're going to go and win now. Probably then down at Fratton Park, we've started the uh, adjusted eleven. I forgot to put Corin in actually for the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Arsenal, and you quite rightly pointed that out in the comment section. And I won't make that mistake again. Oh, Salinas, inside six minutes. Oh, I made that mistake again for the second leg. But uh, judging by the way that this game has started, hopefully that means that this is going to go according to plan. Go on, space. Edward surely from here. He took a little while longer than I envisaged to settle himself, but bury it he has done, and lead by two we do. Into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Out wide. Go on, overlap. Thank you. And in, and down the line, and in. And, oh, I think teammate got in the way of that, to be fair. 2-0 through comfortably to the next round. Any shocks? Mansfield 1, Sheffield United 0 leaps out at me in that second row. Didn't quite see uh, any of the other results, actually. Martin transferred. I've literally just recalled him from Bayern. I'm not now going to immediately sell him to Juventus. Thank you very much. City want Romero. Dortmund have offered me Roger Ibanez and £75 million for Francisco. Good luck, lads. That ain't happening. How long is he up for? Two months, Maxine Walter. That's exactly why we did what we did. By recalling the player. Never mind. Right, second leg of the Carabao Cup against Arsenal. This is the most important one of the season so far. The opportunity, if we can recover from a two-goal deficit, to get ourselves to Wembley for a cup final. For, I believe, the first time in this save. Arsenal with Ramsdale in goal. Dest, Pacho, Botman and Fran Garcia as their back four. Onyedika, Freddy Valverde and Javi Simons 
Simmons, sorry, in the midfield, and then the front three again, and Martinelli, Felix, and Bukayo Saka is pretty bloody dangerous. They've got uh, Rutter on the bench to call upon, call upon as well if they need something for up top. A couple of strong midfield and defensive options waiting in reserve as well. 4-2, we lost the first leg. We'll try and win this one and recover fully. I've heard he's overrun that. It's poor from him. Certainly expect better of a player of his calibre than just giving the ball away in that sort of scenario. Leo de Silva's got the legs on Garcia. Edwards is the man that's forward here with me, but Leo de Silva might use him as a decoy and go alone! 13 minutes in. It's unlucky for Arsenal. But we are still 4-3 down on aggregate. We still need more. We can't settle for a one-goal win. Good way to start, though. Certainly eases the nerves, that's for sure. Top finish, too. To Gabby Martinelli. All of Arsenal's front line are so good with the ball at their feet that when they're in possession, you're just terrified. But they're getting a little bit greedy. Why is Gabby shooting there? This time he does go for the pass. Right decision. Oh, I forgot to play bloody Corin again. Corin will play in the final. I'm sure live chat will remind me at the time. This is where you guys come in handy watching the content live. Saka back to Pacho and the centre-back equalises for Arsenal and extends their advantage on aggregate once more. Of all people to score, given the players in that team, he was not the one you thought would pop up. Francisco will come across to cover and do so very well indeed. Fleming back to Lenny Stevens and Edwards. Make me the right run, please. Salinas, it's a lovely turn. Oh, there was a lot of space out on the left-hand side for Fleming. That's where I tried to squeeze it. Can Leal win this? Yeah, he can. Fleming is here now. Go on. What a save. Fingertip stuff from Aaron Ramsdale. That's the difference so far. That level of quality goalkeeping will absolutely see Arsenal through to the Carabao Cup final. That was flying from Alex Fleming. And that was a pretty ridiculous save from him. Aaron Ramsdale in goal. Martinelli back to Simons and Joao Felix. Oh, and Richardson very nearly shows a similar level of reaction at the other end. But Fede Valverde now makes it 2-1 Arsenal. And they're three goals to the good on aggregate. Simmed or played, it seems we don't have the better of them right now. Fede Valverde. Give me two minutes added on. There's still a minute left of it. Come on. We go in at half-time at 2-2. Then we've still got a chance. Leal de Silva is the man for us so far this afternoon. Or this evening. 2-2 on aggregate now. And we're basically as we were when we started the game. And with 45 minutes to go, it's still all to play for. Really even game so far. Possession, barely anything to call. Both had four shots. Both scored two goals. Their XG is better than ours. But we've been better in the tackle and with uh, the passing, although, like we say, the possession has been similar, so they must just be doing more dribbling with it than we are. But I was hoping we'd be able to turn this round. And we've proven that we can score goals against Arsenal, which is what we needed to do, but we've also proven that they can quite freely continue to score against us. The task is giant here to reach Wembley for the first time in this save in either domestic cup competition. Intercepted and Navarrete gets away from fullback here. He's having a bit of a mazy run. Edwards just turned this home. Oh, it's almost like an Anthony esque scoop. Go and get the ball, Tommy. We need to see it in the back of the net once more at least. What's here? Replay that. Such a weird finish. I tried to just turn and finesse, and he's kind of turned and scooped it. It's a really odd finish. Lovely through ball and. Yeah, not, not the best of angles for it because you can actually see the connection. Here you go. He turns and it's almost like an Anthony, Anthony S. scoop as he just continues to rotate on his heels. It's a great finish. It's 3-2 on the night. It's 6-5 on aggregate. And this is, by a long way, the most competitive semi-final that we've played in this save or any other on FIFA 23 that I can recall. Run straight into Edwards. Who's got Salihovic? 
Uh -huh. Patrick Guy! We've done it! We've leveled it up. It's 6-6 six, six on aggregate. This is remarkable. 4-2 to the away side of Patreon Park. 4-2 to the away side at the Emirates. And still 21 minutes left. I was expecting him to turn onto his left foot. Felix Tuxix back. Javi Simmons off the bar. The margins are so fine at this level of elite sport. Aaron Ramsdale's unbelievable fingertip save in the first half. And now the bar hit by Javi Simmons in the second with just moments left in the game. That's a terrible ball down the line by Navarrete. It looks like we're destined for extra time here. And it is Xavi's last action of the game. Harvey Elliott off the bench. Still playing in red and white. Just for someone else. Given away. Ball from Martinelli. We have scored a number of stoppage time goals this season. We've conceded a number of stoppage time goals in this save. Are we about to do it again? Maybe. Oh, I needed that pass. Edwards looking for Sally Hovitz. Oh, this could be the moment. Lay out a silver. Edwards! Brilliant defending from Arsenal. And that will be extra time here in the Carabao Cup semi-final. After 180 minutes and 12 goals, nothing to separate us. It's straight to pens. It's not extra time. Oh, God. Bukayo Saka steps up first. Oh, post and in. What an unbelievable penalty. Salihovic. Let's get this right into the top corner, please. Thank you. 1-1. One, one. We think we've nailed our penalty technique now as well. Felix saved. Advantage to the cheese. Lay out a silver. Straight down the middle. Move out of the way. Right. Okay. Concentrate. Fede Valverde. He's going to go right. Saved again. Patrick Guy. I'm going to go bottom left with this one. If Arsenal miss, they are out. Harvey Elliott, the man off the bench, does his job. And it falls on Lenny Stevens to send us to the Carabao Cup final with a fantastic spot kick. We've turned it around. But we needed penalties to do it. 12 goals in the tie, all told. Six apiece. But Arsenal from the spot have thrown it away. We will be at Wembley. We don't know who yet will be playing in the final. We believe it's going to be Manchester City. What a penalty that was, though, to win it. Fantastically tucked away into the top corner. Let me skip this for some reason. Here we go. Thank you very much. That will be us through to the final. We've got transfer deadline day to come. And I don't know, as we say, who will be meeting in the final. I think Manchester City won their first day quite handsomely. No, wasn't even Manchester City involved. Newcastle 2, Liverpool 2. After a Newcastle 2, Liverpool 1 scoreline at Anfield means that we will be playing the Magpies at Wembley for the Carabao Cup. Newcastle have the opportunity to win a trophy again. They weren't able to do it in real life against... Uh, Manchester United. AJ might be on his way out of Forest to go to Leipzig for £141.6 million. Pounds. That'd be pretty remarkable. So then, deadline day. Pau Torres might be going to Liverpool. He's gone to Aston Villa, of course, in real life. Moise Keane has gone to Bayern. David Raum has gone to Athletic Club de Bilbao. West Ham have signed a new left-back. Pau Torres has gone to Liverpool. He's 33. I was going to say, for just £37.5 million, he's 33. PSG have bid for Alex Fleming, but rather evidently we are rejecting all bids for all players at this particular moment in time. Ossiman to Spurs would be a great signing for them. Zimmerman to Schalke as a regent. Romano to Toulouse for £42 million. Any massive ones we should be aware of? Uh, yes, there you go. That is Ossiman to Spurs for £86.7 million. And AJ for what might be a record for an English, certainly a record for a, a Patreon player, a record for an Englishman, £141.6 million to Rassenball Sport Leipzig in the old Deutschland. With six hours to go, there may yet be more big deals, but nothing with a big name is rumoured on the left-hand side at this stage. Matthias Sule has gone from Frankfurt to Juventus. 
Salihovic rumoured to be leaving. As if I would accept anything less than 500 million for Salihovic at this stage of the save. We'll have a look at the, uh, the list of Patreon players after we finish this. Because of course this is going to be the last opportunity for anyone on the Patreon to move clubs. As we'll be starting the Sheffield United save after this season here. We will not be having a season nine. Johan Bakayoko moves for 50.4 million. But that is your deadline day. So we'll show you the biggest deals of the window. And we'll have a look at the Patreon players as we see ourselves now seven points clear at the top of the Premier League table. You do very much love to see it. In the FA Cup, we've been drawn against nobody yet because the replays haven't been played. Carabao Cup, we know that it's Newcastle that we've got. Champions League, we know that it's Dortmund that we have. And are they going to be monthly scout reports? No, not yet. Just bids for Cooper on loan that we will reject. Right. Transfers then. Who's gone where? And have any... Well, we know one of the Patreon players has moved, but has anyone else? Uh, we'll do the Patreon players in a moment. Let's do transfer history first. What's happened in this save this season? So, AJ was done. As you see, it's the biggest deal of the entire save this season although there were a couple that were very very close indeed in the summer Nick moved to Barcelona in August as well, Leal we paid £112 million for, what else went through, either in between windows or in that window, Tonali's left Liverpool to go to Southampton that's a big loss for them in their challenge to try and win the Premier League title this year not many other big deals going through. Adam Klozek has gone to Barcelona for 75.8. Hassan has gone to Real Madrid. I'm going to hazard a guess that Hassan is Algerian, maybe. And he might be a Riyad Mahrez region. I think that's probably bang on. Brahim Diaz has now left Forest to go to Leipzig. For 70.8 million pounds. I did wonder where Brahim Diaz was when we played Forest earlier in the episode. Germany is where he is. Leipzig has spent loads of money there. They spent 70.8 million there. And they signed AJ as well for Forest. He went to Leipzig. So they've signed Forest two best cams for upwards of 200 million pounds in this window. That's remarkable. Uh, anything else in January? Fafana going to Hoffenheim. He's not a region. Oh, Genduzzi's left Liverpool as well. That was done in September. So went through in January. They... Bought Liverpool, though, Ibrahima Konate. Uh, Pablo Torre? Pablo Torre to Tottenham. So they've spent quite a lot of money in this window as well. Uh, Matias Sule, we saw. Alexis Roy, only 82 rated. The man that left us to go to Manchester United, now Atletico Madrid. Uh, Moise Keane, we saw as well. Ben Seguir to Fulham. I don't know anything about him. Looks like he's a creative player by... Uh, the game probably from one of the Brazilian leagues you'd imagine one of the non-licensed leagues at the beginning of the save and that is it Jonathan David left Manchester City earlier on in the save so then Patreon players where have you ended up going if anywhere this season Will is now uh, 91 rated as is James Ambrose Jordan however 92 was the highest rated uh, goalkeeper Rob now at Augsburg 88 rated Connor still at Marseille Tommy still at Wimbledon. Nick, of course, moved to Barcelona in the summer. Uh, Tristram is still at... Uh, is he available for free? He'll be leaving at the end of the uh, the season unless Sosso sign him a new contract, which I don't think they will because I don't think he's got... They'll have the budget for it. So Dylan Tristram will be leaving Sosso at the end of the season. Uh, Craig still at Clues. They won't sell him. Daniel at Valencia currently. Scott now 96 at West Ham. He's grown since we played them at the beginning of the day. Uh, Dawson, 92 at West Ham. Tom, valued at 237 million. And nobody can afford his wages at the minute. Uh, Billy is at Brighton, still at 91 rated. Brandon Yang at Bruges, still at 90 rated now. Isaac Morris is 93 rated. AJ now at Leipzig, moved in the window, just gone as we saw. Liam, 95 rated. Nobody can afford his wages either. Manu Chichena at 90 rated, still at Newcastle. Daz, 93 at Brighton. Kyle, 92, and in Player of the Year. In the Team of the Year, sorry. Uh, Puskas, 92 at Bilbao still. Wimpenny still at Tottenham. Davison there at Marseille. And Aiden, 96 rated at Southampton. Cole still at Konyaspor. And Barnes Cutter still at Chelsea. So that rounds out 
all of the moves in this window. We'll have a full season roundup at the end of the season and a save roundup and show you the journeys that everybody went on with regards to the Patreon players. But moving forward now, we will be aiming for all four trophies still. Premier League, we're top of. Champions League, we look good. FA Cup, we look decent. And, well, we're in the final and favourites for the Carabao Cup as well. That will be at the beginning of March. But tomorrow will be February. So join me then for it. And hopefully we can continue our march in multiple competitions. Drop this video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for more.